I can name a million things I'm not. The only thing I am is real. No smoking on that real kill, breaking Zion. Your brand new Dodge Charger Hellcat is available. Oh gosh, why does it look like this, man? Your brand new Dodge Charger Hellcat is available for pickup. Came by the red eye. It's bitch hard. We got the cats, the scats, the jeeps, the tracks. Nigga, I'm finna get a fucking Hellcat. 19 years old getting a Hellcat. We better get the cat today. We found a scat, man. We don't got the motherfucking. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's just because of how easily accessible. Let me run that back. I didn't even work on my speech impediment, bro. I'm not gonna lie, man. I feel like Hellcats just gain popularity over because of how much power they have for the low cost. Actually, no, I'll take that back. I take that back because Ford, the Ford GT is cheaper. Yeah, scat, yeah, Hellcats are some bullshit. Hold on. Red eye. Bro, I'm really buying the Hellcat, bro. No cap today, for real, for real. But the cat. Quan. Vante 1K, SRT Lynn, Wooda, SRT Joey. All these YouTubers have two things in common. They're all young and have eye-catching cars. Chargers, Challengers, Trackhawks, AMGs, and even McLarens at 18, 19, and 20 years old. In fact, for the past few years, a new trend has emerged on YouTube, and youngsters have been so successful with it that more and more videos of this type appear out of nowhere. Now that nigga, bro, Quan, Quan literally popularized just this way of YouTube, bro. Like, he made it, he flipped his whole thing, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Quan, maybe because I'm from Atlanta. Maybe that's because, let me ask the reason. Because Quan was the only person I was seeing doing this. He was the only person I was seeing doing this. And then it started, like, to spread out. So, if anybody, I feel like Quan's the originator of this shit. Amongst Hellcat, amongst Mopar, let me say that. Amongst Mopar, Quan's the one. Weird. Buying a Hellcat at 18 years old. One of these titles certainly popped up in your feed this year. But besides being extremely entertaining and amusing content, this new wave of video conceals an ultra booming business model that is expanding quickly. What we all want to know is what's the real story behind these extravagant purchases? From dark rumors to exceptional cars, here is the truth revealed. Today on The Celebrity Cars, let's dive into the sinister truth of today's teenagers buying Hellcats. All right, talk to you, I don't know, sinister is kind of crazy. Sinister is crazy because it's easy. The method is so easy. They already explained this method so many times. You just build your credit over time from getting loans on cars and paying off the loans off the cars. You just keep paying off, trading in, and then leveling up. All right, is that, is that, that's how it works, right? But some people are out there, out here, you know, with Hellcats. Well, really, let me just say Mopars. I'm not going to just go through the whole list of the card names. They're out here scamming. And it's so, it's crazy because now, like, scammers, dealers, woody woody woo they're tied now into the perception of owning a hellcat or owning a dodge in general or owning a mopar in general what you do for a living shit people think i fucking scam because they don't believe you can make this much money off the internet yeah before we get into the nitty gritty, let's set the scene. High-end vehicles, and Hellcats especially, have become the latest status symbol for a generation that's breaking traditional norms. This new wave of influential car YouTubers are inspiring See, an audience of young Kwan, viewers. Kwan's the originator. Kwan's the main nigga that was doing this shit. Just like you, to aspire to similar heights of success and fame. But how do these lifestyles impact us? And more importantly, how do they manage to pull this off? Let's break it down. Quan is at the front of this method. He's tapping into a gold mine of views and subscribers by flaunting his latest car acquisitions. The ad revenue from these videos pours in. And Crazy. with clever monetization nah, I strategy. Even lie. I can't even lie. I remember I was driving down at Lenox Station and I seen this nigga's Quan. Why oh, I say niggas? I see Quan's track hot. And bro, that thing goes, boy. I gotta give him his props on that, cause that thing goes, bro. Well, when I go up, bro. I'm probably not gonna get a track hawk though, or any Mopar, anything. I'm not gonna lie. I'll probably just get the AMG. That's been my dream car ever since, bro. I'm team AMG all the way, bro. I, I like Porsche too. I like Porsche too. Car acquisitions. The ad revenue from these videos pours in, and with clever but monetization BMW, strategies, he's raking in serious cash. Quite simply, no, no, hey, the but. first car he bought was a not so expensive Hellcat Charger, about 40,000, that he filmed and posted a whole bunch of videos with. And all with right. the money made from the videos, reinvested all of that into another more expensive car. In this case, a Challenger Hellcat. Exactly. Rest and repeat into and being capable. Exactly, see? Sinister Truth is crazy. Sorry. Now, of course, YouTube isn't Quan's only type of income. He also owns a clothing brand, Cozy, collabs and sponsorships and deals, 
and property investments as well. Now, what can you get from this? Look, Quan has two YouTube channels. The main one where he's revealing cars and vlogging about them and his lifestyle. On his second channel though, more Quan, he does something really interesting. POV drives, meaning he films himself driving his cars and he makes hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views and dollars with it. This is literally something you could do mm -hmm. yourself with your own car. All you mm -hmm. need is a good camera and mm -hmm. yourself. Here, I'm about to put y'all on. I'm about to put y'all on. If y'all ever want to get into like content creation and y'all don't know what y'all want to do, this is what you do. Find the main topic that you want to mainly do, okay? Find what's trending in said topic. Go back to older videos on that topic and just reuse them. But make it your own though. So you don't like plagiarize or whatever. You know what I mean? Because that's just... We not dumb, you know what I'm saying? Viewers ain't dumb. We gonna read that shit, obviously, bro. It can be two years, three years, shit, probably six months. We still gonna, like, pick it up, you know what I mean? But it works, though. Hey, man, it's a great day to be alive. We blast and we just had a great drop. Okay, for the occasion, let's break down Quan's car video collection. Like that, Unlike most teenagers, I haven't even, Quan bought it. Will, it makes no sense to make videos on like blowing up when you're still working on blowing up. That, sh that shit just don't make no sense because like, why would I listen to you? First car when he was only 17 years old. The dream car in question was a graphite gray Dodge Challenger, the base model one with 20 inch black rims, stripes on the hood, LED lights, and an all digital dashboard. The first Challenger was introduced in the 1970s. The new edition Challenger is still a powerful and exciting car with the range of engine options that can deliver up to 1,000. I'm not gonna lie, bro. When, when they first came out with the char with the Challenger, bro, I wanna say Charger. I always get them mixed up. They were so hard. But then, I don't, bro, like, it's just the recent times, bro. Like, everybody has one. Everyone has a Challenger. Everybody has a Charger. Everybody has a Trackhawk. Everybody has an SRT. It's so oversaturated, bro. And I don't really like. Well, it's saturated in my area. I don't want to own a car that's very saturated in my area because, one, it can get stolen. That's a big thing. I, I think he's about to talk about this soon, though. That's a very big thing in Atlanta, bro. It's Jug, Mopars, all that, bro. Don't, never, don't ever leave that shit on the street. Overall, the Dodge Challenger is a symbol of American automotive culture and an enduring icon of the muscle car era. But this was just humble beginnings. His second car was a knuckle white 2018 Dodge Charger RT392 Scat Pack. He bought the car when he was 18. It was time for him to the move on to a scat, VA man. and start his ever growing car video business. Specifically, the Charger Scat Pack is equipped with a 6.4 liter Hemi V8 engine Woo. that delivers 485 horsepower. That engine right there is so burnt down. <laughs> Let me not say burnt down. Let me not say burnt down. But it's so it's reused so many times, bro. Power and 475 pound feet of torque, making it one of the most powerful vehicles in his class. He later customized this one with a brown wrap, black stripes, bro, and a wide body this kit was for so more clean, outstanding look. Bro. Now, I was remember the pics this nigga Quan would take back in the day with this charger, bro. That diffuser mm -hmm. right there, bro, was really what set it off for the car, bro. Because it was so, like, mm, it was so dangerous, bro. This is very curated. 12 months later, the car mogul purchased the yellow Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. He also put a wide body kit on this one, changed the rims and interior as well. While many keep their rides subtle, oh, no, Quan loves to customize his Hellcast to the fullest, which is why they stand out so much. After being yellow for a couple months, I think he this wrapped the cozy cat here. in this gorgeous oh, sand light yeah, brownish color this, with yo. brown stripes on it. The car now looks like it came straight out of Fast and Furious. Honestly, one of the best wraps I've ever seen. He maybe spent a total of a hundred grand on. Alright, bro, alright, bro. You slick kind of, you slick glazing, bro. Let me skip this. It's just going through his car list, bro. What the? Oh, you, oh, you a milker, dog. You a milker. I'm seeing it now. Quan, we, I guess we are gonna go through it then with him, bro. Insane Quan, insane Quan. Like if look. that one wasn't shiny enough, he decided to splurge on another one, a Charger SLT Hellcat. This I remember time. this the one. The two-tone beast is an apple green at the front and matte black I think that's at when the I started, back. Like, that's when I started doing my own shit, bro. That's when I started doing like photography and shit around this time period, bro. But now the green, the green goblin, bro, was a staple, bro. The drama between him and Von, and Vonte, bro, over this car. That's some crazy lore. That's some deep lore. And for even more attitude, the transition really like Atlanta color Lord, was made with the Hellcat honestly. logo, which yeah, makes it look even Hell more yeah, aggressive than usual. The calipers are also green with a peanut butter interior and the Rolls Royce starlight ceiling. The sedan produces up to 900 horsepower. And it was Corey Pritchett's old car, actually, it's a fun fact. 
Recently, he decided to go dark and he wrapped it matte uh, black with custom lights that look super, super nice. Ah, uh, be real, is Ice Mountain good? What the fuck is Ice Mountain? Oh, the water, bro? I've never had this, bro. I've never had this water, but it's spring water though, so you're valid. This man seems to be buying cars like we buy water. A couple of months ago, Quan bought a Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk, which he also wrapped in his favorite sand color and threw an insane wide body kit on it with insane, pink details bro. all over this beast. And niggas, Considered is, bro, as the um, niggas are running with that whole Trackhawk decal on the side, bro. They running with it, bro. You see it with every Trackhawk, bro. And then you see the cat symbol on every Hellcat. Fastest SUV in the world. The Trackhawk features a spacious and luxurious cabin with leather trim seats and a premium audio system. This high-end SUV offers the combination of power, speed, and luxury. Get a pet parrot and name it THE Kevin Gates. Why emphasize on the THE? Like, why Why has it be THE? The value of one of these I, SUVs I'm trying to get a dog, is around $105,000. In my current living situation, I can't do it. Ago, Quan took it to another level. He bought his first foreign car. Now nah, that's gonna be nah, AMG. nah, nah. I'm gonna be real, y'all. Chat. I'm gonna be real, y'all. The day that I blow up, this will be the car that we're copping, and we're doing so much content with this fucking car. I swear to you, bro. Mark my words, bro. The GT 63S. And we're running hella too content too with sweet, hella man. content. Not only not did playing. he get an AMG, he got one of the best ones. The car came fully specced with the red leather interior, ceramic brakes, and the carbon fiber body kit with a huge rear wing. Even if the car costed him a kidney, it don't matter. It don't even matter to Quan because he already paid it back with all the content he made with it. <clears throat> Whether it's the reveal of the car or the POV drives he's made with it. That same week, he splurged on a McLaren 570S. This is why I knew this shit was getting outrageous, bro. And this, is getting, high... this nigga got a McLaren? It was so crazy because you were seeing this shit happen in between months. Not even months. A month. One month, this dude has a whole AMG. Next thing you know, he pops out with a fucking McLaren? What? That's not normal. Highest power to weight ratio. It delivers supercar punch and thrills that would shame many more oh, expensive water. rivals. The original color of this entry level supercar was deep blue. But as classic Quan fashion, he customized it in it? dark brown as well as his GT63. When it hits, when it hits 925 or after color, this video, we're going straight to the Playboy Cardi. His Mercedes price was around $200,000, and the McLaren is around two hundred grand as well. Oh, yeah, he also bought a Challenger Red Eye, by the way. And the last purchase up to date was a McLaren 720S. I mean, it's, it's, it's getting ridiculous at this point. This makes the most expensive car he bought, starting at three hundred and ten thousand. He having too much, bro. And it's a track king, tearing through Atlanta with this one hundred and ten thousand five hundred dollars. <laughs> now this spacer has seven hundred and ten horsepower, Light, and it's bro. a track king, tearing through Atlanta with this car is a flex for real. What can I say? Crazy flex, bro. Besides Quan, other rising teens are using this influencer infinite money glitch method. Vontae 1K has over 200,000 subscribers and owns a custom Zebra 2021 Dodge Hellcat Red Eye White. It might sound like I'm glazing Quan, but he put this nigga on slick. He did put in his own work, though. I will give Vontae his props, but Quan put that nigga on still. And the baby blue Lamborghini Huracan 582 at only 21 years old. SRT Lynn has 170,000 oh! subscribers and owns a custom 2022 wide body Hellcat Charger known as the Purple Torch at just 19 years old. Wuda has 188,000 subscribers and owns a Hellcat Red Eye, a Trackhawk, and a Mercedes AMG GLE 63S Coupe at just 19 years old. As bro, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Every time I hear what they own and then plus the age on top of that, bro, it just makes me feel like, damn, what the fuck have I been doing with my life? SRT Joey has almost 50,000 subscribers and owns a Charger wide body scat pack at only 20 years old. Comic Cat has 370,000 subscribers and owns a 1,025 horsepower Dodge Demon. <laughs> 170 you at crazy, 25 bro. years old. 
But here's the sinister truth behind the glitz and glam. Right, While some you, teenagers are making bank, the pressure to keep up this lifestyle can push others to financial pitfalls. Buying expensive cars with borrowed money, drowning in debt, and living beyond their means. The mm, shiny surface oh can hide God, the reality. The reality. For every it, success bro. story, there are young adults trapped in a cycle of debt, trying to emulate their idols without point, understanding the financial... Nah, no cap, bro. Fuck it, bro. I'm finna touch down... Where, where they be doing that shit at? Where they be getting the DR? I'm finna touch down the DR, man. You know what I'm saying? Go sell my kidney to one of them. That's gotta be Atlanta, bro. Cause I see Vix me uh, stuff in the back. The responsibility that comes with it. Teens chasing after the dreams of fast cars and quick cash need to understand that financial literacy and responsible spending are crucial. It's not just about the show. It's about the substance behind the scenes. The allure of wealth and fame shouldn't overshadow the importance of financial education and responsible mm. choices. Overall, sir, let's celebrate their success, but let's also <laughs> learn from their journey. Aspire, but also be wise. Dream big, bro. but also think smart. All right, um, you speaking the same shit that everybody else be saying, bro. Like, I get it, bro. I understand it, bro. My, my dad be saying the same shit, bro. What time is it? She, 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 she,